Bonjour, everybody. Hi, this is Nishi Lokatz. Welcome to Star Nation's Communications from Home. This is Tuesday night, August 29th. Yes, we're at the end of the month. And tonight we have a redo. We're going to tap into that Mercury retrograde um, energy <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my good friend, my sister with me, Minnie Kansman. We're going to redo her um, interview that she had last month because she was having some issues with um, technical issues with her computer. And tonight she's with us by phone. And so we should have a good, clear, crisp voice from Minnie Kansman. So I'm going to bring her on. She's, we have a nice picture of Minnie. In fact, this is one of the new ones that was taken recently at uh, Great Lakes Retreat, and it's uh, the one many of you in your pink shawl and looking yeah. good. Yeah. So welcome to the show again, Minnie. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah. Sorry, my whole live video isn't working tonight yet, but it, we're getting the glitches out of it. Yeah. Yeah, we are. And, um, you know, since this is Be Live TV uh, and live streaming through through this vehicle, it really um, it gives us a whole different feel for the show. That's for sure. But it also means that we have to be um, a little tech savvy and really um, kind of up to speed <laughs> with our technology. <laughs> and, and when and when you live in Lyons, Michigan, out in the boonies, you're not always able to do that yet. I'm, we're getting there. Yeah. Know? Yeah. But, I know what you mean. Um, it's just that um, we're going to do a little housekeeping stuff before we launch into the questions and the stories and such. Um, okay. Actually, what I'd like to do is ask um, people to please, please like the video that you're watching, the live stream, and also to share it. And I'm going to do the same thing. Here's my phone. And um, I'm going to find... Um, the live stream on the Star Nation's magazine and radio page. And there we are. I'm going to make sure my sound is turned down <laughs> so we don't get that echo echo. And I'm going to not just like it, I'm going to love it. I'm going to, I'm going to heart it. All right. And then I'm sharing it. Um, and I'm going to share it. Um, oops. I'm going to share it to my, my um, timeline because I do a lot of public stuff from there. And so I'll go out to the public. Kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you could do that for us, we'd really appreciate it. Um, it's, it is, uh, you know what that's like, you know, you start doing something and you could be just cleaning up from supper or maybe came, just came inside from, you know, being outside with the kids or whatever. And you were going to join uh -huh. the show. And you forget, and you, you, time just kind of slips by, you know. And I've done that um, when there's a show going to be on, and I want to hear it, right? And and I miss the first couple of minutes because it's like, oh yeah, it's on because somebody liked it or shared it and reminded me um, yes. how to do that. So, do you know, many one of the other things that Be Live has when we set up a show is that it sends out a um, a post. Um, to our Star Nations magazine and radio fan page, right? And it's uh, it's for people to get the reminder. And I think oh, cool. I think I might have a picture of that if I can get to it. Um, let's see if I can find it and, and show people um, what that is. Because when you see that um, notification, um, you can actually click on it to get a reminder sent to your um, page. And um, unfortunately, I don't know a faster way to get through all these pictures than to click. Um, it should be coming up soon. Oh, that wasn't it. Dang. Um, oh, well, I'm going to see if I can continue to find it as we talk. Um, so it, when, when you do see that as it comes up on the page, um, if you click on it, uh, Facebook will send you a reminder, a reminder directly to your timeline. So, um, and it comes up, you know how those little pop-up things happen? It'll come up. Yeah. That way. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and the thing is, is I had just noticed that the other day and how long have I been doing this? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I don't see it in my pictures. I thought I had it there. 
I guess I don't have it in my pictures. Um, oh, well, well, we'll find it and get that posted and, and let people see it. So um, let's see. I want to see who's with us. We've got a couple people and I'm going to get into the chat room if I can. Oh, those two people haven't said anything yet, so I can't really post it until you say something. <laughs> Say something. Say something. Say just anything. Just say hi, just so I know who's in the chat yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> so it is, can you believe it's already the end of August, Minnie? I know. Wow. It, it went by so fast, didn't it? It's been, a, it's been a really crazy summer since I started it with a wedding on June 10th for my son. And that seems eons ago, but the summer seems like it's flown. So I was thinking that the other day. It's really strange. Yay. Hi, Kendall. Thanks for saying something. Hi, yeah, see, we're, we're just learning this, right? That um, that unless our, our guests say something, all I can see is there's a number of people in the chat room. I don't know who's there. So when you come on, you actually have to say hi or how you doing? Or as Mary says, she says, hello, ladies. Hi, Mary. It's good to see you in the chat room. Yeah. Uh, all right. So for those people who may not know many Kansmen, I don't know who, how, who wouldn't know you in our group, in our group. But for those people who are just joining uh, Star Nation's uh, community, we're going to tell you just a little bit about Minnie. Minnie, I have got your magazine bio right here in front of me. Okay. And I want to, yeah, I want to share that with, with our listeners. So about Minnie. It says, Minnie Kansman and her business, Eco Balance, Humanity in Harmony with Nature, have been assisting others with feng shui and sacred space and nature spirit connections since 1994. 1994. She is a certified monk of a master feng shui consultant and educator, living lightly on the land and honoring the power of spirit in all things. Minnie is also the author of Spirit Gardens, Rekindling Our Nature Connection, and it's available for sale at her website at, and also at uh, Amazon.com. And we're going to throw in there, too, that she also has a brand new book out called Missing Nana. And you can yeah. get that and, and, uh, at Lulu.com or Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com. In or both, Minikansman.com. Or com. Yeah. Um and also, you can get that book as uh, a print and ebook. And um, yes. Spirit Gardens is print only, right? Yes. Okay. And I am offering um, Nana for with free shipping right now off my website um, for the summer. So. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. a great idea. Great idea. Probably three September mm. um, because I bought a lot of copies here, and um, I would love to sign them and mail them out to people so that's you're probably your best bet right now is to uh, oh my god well bed. we're gonna have to make sure a lot of people know about that i didn't know about yeah. that so we'll i'll put together a little something for you and get that posted okay okay Great. and it also mini is also a radio show host for us for star nations radio network and um she is a co-host um, for a show called Spirit of Color, and I'm one of those co-hosts with her. So we do a, a show together, and we've done lots of shows together, lots of them. Um, and let's see. Uh, you can contact Benny for long-distance and on-site feng shui consultations and space-clearing ceremonies. So that's Minnie. And Minnie and I met, um, gosh, I think it was – was it, was it at the, it wasn't at the advanced course. It was at the teacher's course for um, feng shui and space clearing, right? So that would have been 2005. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And then we did the drum making after that. Yep. And then we also did the space clearing symposium. That's where I first met you in Planet. Wow. Yeah. I think that was 2003 or four, something like that. Something like that. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Carla Joe. Thanks for joining Hi, us. Yeah. So what tonight is all about is um, Minnie is a contributing writer for Star Nations magazine. And I really wanted to share with people about how Minnie contributes to the magazine. And she has a standing column um, called the Mystic Traveler. And 
what she writes for us um, is from all of her travels from all over the world. And she also writes um, featured articles for us. For instance, she wrote one on garden, uh, gardens, and this last one, I think, was roses, and that was right. in June, right? Right, and I've written about nature spirits, and yeah. <laughs> nature spirits. I want. I do have a couple of, um, uh, there is a cover here that I want to show people, and this is the one um, that is of your front walk, and it's coming up. Uh, of it's the log home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was such an honor when you wanted to use that for a cover for the garden issue. Here we go. I'm going to take um, take you down just for a second, and we're going to give a solo to the garden. And uh, I'm sorry, Minnie, but you probably uh, don't have a mic right now. I just wanted to show the... Um, Oh, wait a minute, you would be. You're on your phone. Shush. Yeah, I can hear you fine. I don't know if you hear me, but yeah. That's so funny. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot she was on the phone and not on her computer. So this is the cover of Garden, Garden Davis, is the title of it. And um, yeah. this was a couple, a couple of years ago, but that is a picture of Minnie's uh, log home that was in Lowell, Michigan. Um, and so we used it for the cover of that particular magazine. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, Thank you. because one of the things that you do, Minnie, and that is um, to to bring up. Um, yep, gotta take that one down. Is to to bring gardening and the nature spirits in in what you do. So, if you could share a little bit with us about how you um, write your articles for the magazine through the mystic traveler and how do you incorporate the nature spirits into that? Mm. Well, it, it really depends on what I'm writing about. Um, most of my articles are, well, first I look at the topics, of course, but the, the, the magazine is geared around that month because we have those ahead of time. And I see if anything, like, jumps out at me on that one. And then I have thousands of photographs. Uh, I, I love to take photographs, especially when I'm traveling or if I'm in a garden or if I'm in the UP of Michigan, you know, wherever I am um, that has um, beauty that I see and with my feng shui eyes, I would say, I take photos of it. Or sometimes I'm at, I'm at a place and I don't have my camera and I'll just call it darn, that would be the most beautiful photo because I can frame it and I can see it with my eye. And I know that it will be. Um, so the articles happen from the photos first. So I choose the subject and then I think about what photos I have and go, oh, well, especially on our mystic travels, um, there's usually... You know, I group my photos by the places we were at, and there can mm -hmm. be seven to ten different, you know, each day is a new adventure on those trips. Mm -hmm. And so each day could be an article, really. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of those places may match what's happening. Um, like, I think um, I just recently wrote for, uh, some, most of, I wrote for um, about Montségur in France, because we were there on summer solstice. They, they Two, the year before, mm -hmm. and two years before, and it was such an important um, energy to be there on that day. It wasn't planned. Um, it just happened to fall that we were in that place on that day, and then I learned later the significance of that. Um, but that article um, pulled from the subject, but then the photos spoke to me that wanted to be in the article mm -hmm. and um, Elf Elm is so generous and told me I can put as many photos <laughs> as I want in my article which is wonderful because most people only have one right. and I, I have seven, eight maybe sometimes <laughs> six to seven is the usual um, and and so the pictures then they, they tell the story to me mm -hmm. so I always have to put the pictures in the template first and then I let them just tell me what the story is that I'm to share. Yeah. 
and that's how it, it kind of just flows. And then sometimes there's um, a video or music that wants to be embedded in the article as well. And like in Montego or the music, oh my goodness, the music at the end of that, if um, you haven't um, read that article or, or tuned into that music yet, I was playing that while I was writing the article and I was just crying and crying. Because if you read the article, you find out the significance of that music. And, and so sometimes when I'm writing, I'm crying because I'm so moved by the photo and the memory and the words that are coming out. So. And the, the one that I uh, picture they have up right now, Minnie, is about the Garden Davis that you wrote. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I remember that picture because you, you actually found the picture. For, I found the picture, yeah. and, you know, we're very, um, I, I love that you are very strict on copyright laws, and, you know, Star Nations is very mm -hmm. um, honorable that way about not using anybody's photo without permission. So I tracked down um, the artist that created that. It's a digital, I believe. Yes. Um, and told them I was writing an article about Garden Davis, and this would be the perfect photo for, you know, could I have permission if I if I um, like them to use it? And they were more than happy. Everyone is more than happy when you ask and ask for permission, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And put their website or you know give them credit exactly. for taking that beautiful photo. Um, and you know a lot of times they want they send me the article, you know. And you, I I did that with um, Charlotte's Labyrinth too. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had several photos from when we were there, but there was this one that was taken like a bow with candlelight and it was perfect. And um, I just, I wanted to use that photo so badly. Mm -hmm. So I tracked the photographer down again and they're like, sure. You know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, thank you for saying that about the uh, copyright and how we're very, we're very fastidious about that, you know, yes. and um and yeah, and to get the the permission from them, and we're happy to send them, you know, um, a free digital copy, you know, to give them access to the oh, digital. Okay. Um, and you know, now that we also have print on demand, um, we can also send them a print copy. Um, so you know, it's nice though; it's really nice of them to be able to. Well, it's a little extra um, promotion for them. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, and and several of them like, well, well, what is the magazine? Tell me more about it. So it spreads the word for Star Nation. Oh, absolutely, well. absolutely. Yeah, so it works two ways there. <laughs> it does. It does. So you know, um, and lo a lot of people don't know that you also do um, sp featured articles for us as well. At least at least once a year, sometimes twice. Mm -hmm. um, and and we tap into um, into her connection to gardens and flowers and um, there isn't anything better than having somebody who really knows about gardening to be able to write those articles for us because many many in her previous home in Lowell the the log cabin your gardens were actually uh, featured on a local television show a couple of times weren't they mm -hmm. yes yes for feng shui gardening mm -hmm. They were featured, and they were in magazines as well um, there for Grand Rapids Magazine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I love to apply feng shui outdoors and create, you know, sacred space out, outside with, mm -hmm. with plants and growing things. And I've done it in every home that I've lived in, so it's not just because that was a beautiful log home and, you know, it was perfect, but I, right. I've managed to do it in every place I've lived from the first apartment that Rainy and I mm -hmm. lived with. The balcony was spectacular. Um, if you could have, could have seen that, it was so spectacular that I write in my book that I, they attracted a whole hive of honeybees that wanted to live in a crate that I had, was using there for a plant stand. Yeah. So there's a whole story in Spirit Garden about that. I remember I that story. Yes, we had a beekeeper come and get them because I didn't want to kill them. And, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, who knew, who knew that there were stories in the making for a book later on? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm speaking sure. speaking of beekeeping, uh -huh. you actually wrote an article about uh, beekeepers. 
um, I, I don't remember which article, which magazine it was, though, which issue. It was last, I think it was last year. Probably. Last year, about this time, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say September ish. Um, and can you tell us a little bit about that? Because that was that was a very interesting article, and it's not one that we even knew was available until you, <laughs> you until you pitched it and said, "Yeah, let's do it." Yeah, yeah. Well, well, my brother-in-law is a beekeeper, and he's a very big, burly guy, a hunter, a man's man, you know. But he started doing um, beekeeping when he he retired and moved to 75 acres up in Posen, Michigan, with him with my sister. And he's become kind of a farmer now. He was a mechanic, and now he's a farmer. And the love that he shows these bees, you can see, he, and, and his passion for learning beekeeping, and very quickly, he went, he had like two hives, and then he had ten. <laughs> and then, and he, and then he was part of the, you know, National Beekeepers Association, and then he was winning, you know, like, they have the best of show honey last year for light honey of all of Michigan and one third in the nation. Um, you know, so they're winning all these awards, but it's because I see he's planted specific plants for bees on the 75 acres um, of, of land. He's, he just, he cares for them like they're his, his, his children, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it comes out in the honey. Obviously, it comes back into the taste of the honey. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I wanted to write about that. And I didn't know how he was going to feel about that. Uh -huh. But I sent the article to him ahead of time because he helped sh share some pictures with me mm -hmm. um, of him and his suit and such. And, and he loved it. He got it. He got a real tickle out of it. Did, did we um, ever send him yeah. a print copy of that? I did. Okay. I did. Yeah, I bought them. A, I bought them a copy because it's pretty special, um, and they're still winning awards. You know, mm -hmm. wow, that's great, honey. Love it. Yeah, love it. In fact, this weekend I'm going to be helping them um, put it, um, process it this weekend for Labor Day. So ah. there'll be more honey at Star Nations East at least. Yeah, that's, that's great. At the Academy East, yeah. yeah. So the next picture I have up is kind of a strange looking picture. It is about the uh, uh, about the Star Nations Academy West when you were here last year. Oh, yeah. And took a walk in the woods um, uh -huh. and found Indian pipe. And so you get you gave us a little um, background yeah. on that. That was well, I loved it. Because in, at the log home, I had just a couple spots of Indian pipe growing, so I had researched that it was, and then um, it's a semi-endangered species in Michigan, so I assumed it was in Wisconsin too. Mm -hmm. And Nessie has a lot of it there, like mm -hmm. not just two little spots, but there was a lot. And I, I was just so pleased to see the nature spirits supporting um, the academy there and and that um, you know by by showing showing themselves in that way mm -hmm. in something called in, you know Indian pipe I mean how perfect <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't plan this kind of stuff you know <laughs> no you, can, you just can't so so see that and there was a trip and I'm taking photos and I'm thinking, well, this would be a great story yeah, to share. Absolutely. You know? And what a lot of people don't know, many, is that um, when you first started writing for us back in 2013, when we first started the magazine, um, wow. your, your your photographs were, were good, but they but you went out and went the extra mile and bought a new camera. So you could yeah. take really good pictures, great pictures. Well, I went and had a little talk with Mr. David Fix, you know, photographer extraordinaire. That's right. And asked what kind of camera he was using. Uh -huh. And he shared what he had. And I um, I bought the step down because I couldn't quite afford what he had. But I got the, the one down that's not that, that's not like a smartphone that's not connected to the internet. 
Yeah. But but it had all the bells and whistles that kids did. Because I said I want a camera that will take pictures in low light. Mm -hmm. I want high resolution. Um, and uh, boy, it delivered. It it really it really um, does. Is and someone's going to ask me what kind it is, and I have it right over here. I'll let you know. <laughs> I was forgetting. <laughs> it's a Sony. Um, Sony Cyber Shot Five Hundred, I think. Mm, it's a 500. No, Sony Cybershot RX100. That's what it is. RX100. Well, I tell you, it, it, and it's a ton, it's a small camera too, because I needed something small because I'm traveling, you know, mm -hmm. with it. And mm -hmm. I want to just be able to pull it out of my backpack easy, and I can't have a big old, like, Minolta like I used to have. Wow. You know, I wanted something small and, and compact, and they still had a good zoom on it you know all of those pieces and this one delivered um for a price that i could afford kind yeah. of, at that time <laughs> <laughs> well you know, you've done good you've done good because the pictures i, turn out I right. never regret it i because i get those shots like i told you the shots i see in my head that oh that will be an amazing picture i can take them with this camera and they they show up yeah yeah you know? and that's you know I'm so glad that you went the extra mile to get those because those pictures are priceless. And one of the things we're going to do in the next, um, hmm, I can't give you a time frame because <laughs> we got lots of things going on in Star Nations. Um, we want, I want to do a calendar um, around Mystic, right. Mystic Traveler and uh, yeah, we and do about that. Yeah, yeah and and you know take a look at which pictures to use and what quotes from the from your articles to use with that picture. For the for the the calendar, so it's on it's on the docket. I just can't tell you when. Yeah, that would be really fun. Well, yeah. it might be nice, you know, to wait till we go to Italy and Greece because it'll yeah. be more yeah amazing photos, especially from Santorini and Mykonos. That <laughs> and there's oh, I can't wait to see the blue and the white in my photos. I just, <laughs> well, I know it's going to be fabulous. Right now, Minnie, what I'm doing is I'm showing the cover of Missing Nana. Yeah, Missing Nana. Do you want to tell people about Missing Nana since you're the author of this? And well, uh, yeah, and Christine Pollock is the wonderful artist that did all the fine art paintings for it. Yeah, the, the cover, cover, the cover. Uh, and I the wrote Missing Nana for children so they could have a a viewpoint of grieving, uh, maybe a maybe a new viewpoint that they haven't heard of, and also about how thin the veil might be to the other world and that our loved ones don't go as far away as And Sylvia is a 12-year-old girl who, who, whose grandmother dies, Nana, and she learns um, that she can find comfort in nature, and she goes out and spends time with the, the elementals of nature, and they help to show her about this um, other world where, where Nana went and and um, how she can connect with Nana still. Hmm. Because I do totally a believe that you know our loved ones are right here with us all the time mm -hmm. that have passed on, and they're just waiting for us to connect with them so um, a way for children to learn and also adults to learn how to do that connection it's it's a it's a great book and i have to say that i i had such a good time working with you to bring it to bring to bring it into the physical world you know it's um it's it's going to be one on one of the top five, you know, one of the top mm. five things. Yeah, I mean because it's going to help so many people, right? And now, yeah. and now, let's see. I should probably do this. Now I'm showing the uh, cover of the August issue of Star Nations Magazine um, issue. Beautiful. I so know. Beautiful. I love that cover. I think it's my favorite cover, and actually, I don't, although the one that popped up on Facebook today was pretty awesome too. Oh, I know. <laughs> this 
one, I think just the whole balance of the words and the fonts and the, everything. Yeah. It's magic. It's magic. You know. And the, and the, the um, and the articles, the, you know, the subject matter. <laughs> I know. You know, and the thing, you know what the, the, the magic is? It's elf magic. That's what it is, because yeah. we get to we get to do what we do, which is um, writing the articles, bringing spirit, the spirit helpers that work with us individually. And we get to bring them to to the party. Right. And what happens is that we take our raw material and we send it to Elf Elm Publishing, who is our layout specialist. And what they do is they use their creative eye and they put together, they take all of our raw materials and they, they put it together into this beautiful magazine and gives us a, a, a gorgeous frame around our work that we are um, really wanting to share with, mm. with those who are looking for that, that information. Right. Right. It yeah. is, it is a piece of art every month. Yeah. They create a piece of art, a coffee table book. It, it, <laughs> And I'm working. And they feel that the the print magazine. If you haven't gotten a one, at least order one print magazine so you can feel the weight of the pages yep. and feel in the size of it. It's just it's beautiful. It is. And you know, our our special magazine um, every year. In the beginning, Dana and I, Denise, Iwana, Francisco, my my Nami, and my business partner for Star Nations, everything. We in the beginning wanted to make sure that we gave back to our community every year. And with the magazine, what we do is we do um, a free digital magazine and uh, the print copy is on for only the printing, right? The cost of it. And so that, that particular issue is coming out in uh, October. And so right now I'm kind of busy. I, I'm working on two, two issues right now. <laughs> And so, and 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 also doing something pretty fantastic that uh, we're going to be sharing more about in just a second. But right now, Minnie, I'm going to be showing um, the Tarot Journey, Volume One, by Julie Hedges, her cover and of her book. And I just wanted to let everybody know that both Minnie's book and um, Julie's book are available on print and also in as an ebook. And you can get your ebook and or print at lulu.com. You can get it at um, Barnes and Noble and you can get it at amazon.com. You can get Minnie's book at her website, minikansman.com. And both authors actually have books on hand, printed books on hand. So if you want to have a, an author signed book, what you need to do is get a hold of them and um, or send send us a message at Star Nations magazine. Um, you can do it at Facebook or you can send it through the website, starnations.org. I'll put that in the. Um, and so you can contact us and we'll get the message to the authors and they can they can uh, contact you. Right. We'd love to. Yeah. Let's see what else uh, before we go, because um, I promised that we we're going to keep the, the magazine article um, interviews to a half hour. And let me tell you guys, that's not easy to do. <laughs> yeah. Just Nessie and I having a conversation in a half hour. is really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to keep on task. The last thing that I want to do is share pe with people and Minnie and I and Donna just met about this part of it anyway, this afternoon. Um, we're going to be starting to offer the radio shows on Facebook Live via Be Live TV, and we're going to be making lots of announcements about that. So watch for those things to come up um, so that you will be able to catch the live shows. Now, our radio shows through Blog Talk Radio are also live, but they're not video live, you know? So... Um, yeah, we're going to be moving over to live stream TV and we're working on that right now, doing that transfer. And um, we're going to be starting that in October. So keep an eye out for all of those notifications and announcements because they'll be coming up soon. We're yeah. moving the party to, to live TV. Be live. Which is a great, a great vehicle. I, you know, it literally dropped in my lap in, I think it was March. I didn't know anything about it, and uh, I was watching a makeup demonstration, and they had two people on 
side by side. And Dana and I had been looking for something that was affordable and and gave good quality video, right? Mm-hmm. So here we are. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. So, many. thank you so much for taking time out of your evening to be with us tonight. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, thank you for those who are watching. We appreciate it. And uh, those who will be watching yes, the you. recorded uh, video, we appreciate that, too. Um, and so join us again next week for Star Nation's Communications from Home. And I I haven't set up my guests for next month yet so it's going to be a surprise for everybody (laughs) (laughs) all right so join us next week tuesday night at 8 p.m eastern 7 p.m uh central and uh we'll 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 chat it up with another writer for star nations okay all right thanks everybody good night manny thank you good night wasn't that fun okay good night everybody we'll see you next week okay good night